Hello everyone, today I'm back again with another teardown. Today we'll be taking a look at what's inside the JBL, Party Box, Encore, and Central. This IPX4 Bluetooth speaker weights 13 pounds and features JBL Original Pro Sound with 100 watts of RMS power and a 6 hour battery life. It has additional features such as USB and auxiliary input, karaoke settings, true wireless pairing, and RGB lights. We have over 88 screws to remove from the Encore, so let's get started with this teardown. First and foremost, we will turn the speaker on its side to remove four rubber stopper on the bottom in order to take off four screws. Once removed, the bottom portion of the speaker can be pried off. Now we can remove four screws to take off the switching power supply. There will also be two plugs that we will need to detach. With the power supply assembly removed, we can take the PCB board from the cover by removing four more screws. And here we have the switching power supply board. This board allows you to fully charge the speaker in less than 3.5 hours using AC power. Next, there are 12 screws on the bottom that will need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, the two sides can easily be taken off by applying slight pressure and sliding them downward like you see here. This is a nice durable piece of plastic that is nicely branded with the iconic JBL exclamation mark symbol. Now with both sides removed, let's turn our attention to the left side of the speaker. Here we have a metal cover that seals the motherboard and battery. To remove it, we will take off a total of 7 screws. Once all screws are removed, we will gently open the cover and disconnect all the attached cables. The motherboard is also attached to this metal cover with 7 screws, which we will also remove. And here we have the motherboard. It has Bluetooth 5.1 and provides the speaker with over 100 watts of JBL Pro sound. It supports the JBL Party Box apps that is available on the Android and iOS platform that allows you to control and personalize the way your speaker operates. To add on top of that, it also allows you to pair a secondary speaker to get double the power and sound. Now let's remove the battery. I was quite surprised by how small of a battery the Encore contains. It has a 4800 mAh battery pack that has a charge time of 3.5 hours and a play time of 6 hours. With my everyday use of the speaker, the most I've got was around 4 hours of battery life with the Encore. With that said, you can easily double the play time if you add another battery pack in parallel to the existing one and tuck it inside the speaker as it has plenty of space available. Now we will move 5 screws from each side of the speaker. Now we will take our focus to the top control of the speaker. We will remove the silicone control cover by prying and pulling it off. With the cover removed, we can remove two of these screws. While we're at it, we can go ahead and also pull off the volume knob. Now we will go toward the back of the speaker and remove two plastic circle cover to reveal two screws that needs to be removed. Once the screw are removed, we can take a whole input assembly out. To remove the board, four screws will need to be taken off, as well as a microphone volume knob. And here we have the input board. It has the microphone input, gain control, USB-A input, true wireless stereo button, and a 3.5 auxiliary input. I find them easy to use and easily accessible via the rubber flap.
Now we can pull the back cover off. This piece will take a bit of force to get off as it's clipped down on the input and woof reports. Take precaution as you don't want to end up breaking any clips. Now with that out of the way, we can go ahead and remove two screws to take out the AC charging port. Next, we will remove the top portion of the speaker by removing these two screws. Now there are two more screws on each corner that I will be using this flexible extension to remove. These screws are a bit hard to reach, so if you can take the top cover off first, then removing them later will be more practical. Now with the four screws removed, we can pull off the top cover. Beneath the cover, there are seven screws that need to be removed to take off this tray looking cover for the handle and control board. And here we have the handlebar with a removable orange silicone grip cover. Now to remove the control board, we will take off four screws as well as removing a locking ring located on the volume knob. And here we have the control board. It has your power button, battery life indicator, Bluetooth pairing button, RGB light control, bass boost button, play and pause button, and volume knob. These buttons are simple to use and provide you a quick and easy control over the speaker. Now back to the main body of the speaker. There is two screws that we will need to remove to release the whole front grill of the speaker. A lot of the weight comes from this grill as it has a woofer and two tweeters attached to it. So be careful handling it while you disconnect all the connected cables. With the grill removed, let's look at the body. Here we have some polyfill inside the speaker to help increase the interior volume of the enclosure and improve the base. Now we will remove the base port by taking out four screws. This base port allows air pressure to exit out of the rear of the speaker for a louder, natural, and more efficient base that can easily fill a room. And that is all there is to the enclosure. Now let's take our attention back to the front grill. We can remove the tweeters by taking off two screws from each tweeters. And here we have the tweeters. They measure 1.7 inch each and provide the speaker with clean, crisp audio. Next, we remove the single screw to take out the LED flashboard. The LED on this flashboard flashes to the music and is a great addition to the already memorizing light show that the speaker has. Now to remove the woofer, we will need to take off six screws. As you can see, the woofer contains a circular RGB board that can easily be removed with taking off four screws. This board has over 23 LED lights that provide a customizable, vibrant light show that glows to the flow of your music. And here with the woofer. This woofer measures 5.25 inch and produces deep bass that is punchy, powerful, and full of impact. Make sure you enable bass boost to get the full effect and to really feel that bass hit. And this is all there is to the complete teardown of the JBL Party Box Encore Essential Bluetooth speaker. By far this speaker is one of the quality speakers that I have teared down. On top of the excellent sound quality it possesses, it has a solid construction and it's an impressive Bluetooth speaker with powerful bass that is perfect for any party. Well this is it, there will be many more teardown coming soon so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not. See you soon on the next one.